Hey guys, it's Luke, your digital concierge at Gramophone, and today we're going to take a deep dive look into the all new NR1711. This is an 8K ready slimline receiver by Marantz. AV receivers have been a part of the audio game for a very long time now. And with each passing year, features get upgraded, new improvements are made, and now we have things like 8K video pass-through coming to AV receivers for the first time ever. These units function like both the heart and the brain of your system, processing video signals and driving your speakers. The problem with a lot of AV receivers though is that they're often very large units, and what do you do if you just don't have the space? Well, that's where the NR1711 comes in, giving you all the features you want, but for half the size. Let's take a look at what makes this thing so cool. All right guys, so let's get into this thing and take a good look at it. There isn't a whole lot to see on this box, so let's just go ahead and get inside. Okay, so right from the top of the box is your Audizy microphone for doing room calibration and EQ. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. You might remember that from our Denon videos. Be sure to check out those as well. Here is your remote. You have your radio antenna and literature, as well as labels for your speakers, which I highly recommend using. These things are really convenient. Here is your owner's manual. This is the cardboard stand for when you do your room calibration so you can position it properly. Gotta love when they include batteries for your remote. Thank you, Marantz. All right, let's get this guy out. We had a surprise waiting for us. Power cable. All right guys, let's recap what comes in the box. So starting on this side, you have your Audizy microphone for doing your room EQ and calibration. Highly believe in room correction, by the way. Always use this thing. Your remote, some batteries to go with it. Your owner's manual. This is the stand for your uh, calibration microphone so you can easily set it up and get good room measurements. And of course you have your NR1711 itself as we certainly hope that you would. And then we have a little goodie bag here. You have things like AM FM antenna, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas, labels for your speaker wires. These are so convenient and I'm so happy they give these to you. They can really save your life. Of course, your power cable and your warranty information. All right, y'all, let's talk about the features of the 1711 now. So starting at the front, you can see two big knobs. One is for input selection and the other is for your volume control. It makes it very clear and easy to do. The screen is very bright and clear about what kind of signal it's receiving and what source that you currently have selected. Looking at some of the buttons down here, you can select from different sound formats, such as just basic stereo, but then running things like Dolby Atmos upscaling or DTSX slash Pro upscaling as well. And you can enable things like MDAX, which is an auto upscaling program for raising the quality of lower quality sources and trying to fill in some of those gaps. So Marantz has a lot of great processing features in here. Going hand in hand with some of that is the fact that this has Heos built in. Heos is a streaming platform that gives you access to things like Tidal, Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora. The list goes on and on all built right in to a single app on the receiver that you can easily control on your phone. That way you can just reach in your pocket, search for a song, tell the receiver to play it, and it will natively stream that in the receiver, which is generally the best form of streaming for highest quality playback. We use Heos on a lot of the products here in our store to do demos of speakers and all kinds of things. So Heos is awesome. And the fact that you're getting it on a product at this price point couldn't recommend it enough. You can see that this has many HDMI ports on it, and the one over here is your 8K port. That's a true HDMI 2.1 port. Now, disclaimer, HDMI 2.1 is known for being a 48 gigabit per second port. These run at 40, not 48, but it does not matter because TVs nowadays are not capable of using all that bandwidth anyway. So this is still gonna give you maximum 8K performance and maximum high refresh 4K performance. And seeing this finally get into receivers with 8K and high refresh 4K support is very exciting. 
that is also capable of doing all the other fun HDMI 2.1 things, like variable refresh rate for us gamers out there, auto low latency mode, kind of also for us gamers out there, and full uncompressed eARC. So when you plug this into your TV, your TV can send back to your receiver an uncompressed True HD Dolby Atmos or DTSX Pro signal. Full, fat, quality soundtracks from your movies, no matter how you have them hooked up. And I'm really excited about that myself. You can see that this is a seven channel amp, so you can do all of the primary floor channels in your system. And you have analog inputs on this side, as well as a few inputs for more classic video formats like component. This thing gives you virtually everything you could need in a unit that is compact and delivers 50 watts of power to all channels, which for most satellite-based home theater speaker systems is plenty. All right, guys, now let's talk about the design aspects of the NR1711. Basically, it's pretty straightforward. The primary design aspect of this receiver is to be compact and out of the way. This can fit into the slots on a lot of AV stands that say a DVD player could fit. It's about half the thickness of a regular receiver, but from what you do see of it, the front fascia has a nice curve to it, the screen is clear but not too bright, not too distracting, and all your primary controls whenever you're not using the remote are easily accessed. It's clean, it's straightforward, it's out of the way. I like it. It's perfectly subtle. Being an AV receiver, it is compatible with nearly everything that has to do with home theater and home audio. This can drive many kinds of speakers, though it is best suited to doing smaller satellite speakers as it is a slimline receiver. But as far as video processing goes, virtually anything with an HDMI port can plug into this and work very well. It can pass 4K signals and 8K signals, as well as being backwards compatible with older standards of HDMI. You have a lot of analog inputs on here as well. You even have a phono stage, which is an addition I really did not expect at this price point. I think that's really cool. So you can run your turntable straight into this product, no additional phono stage needed. You can hook up other things like older CD players using RCA as well, and even use older DVD players via component or composite analog input. Really useful, really backwards compatible. As for the digital sides of this, it has compatibility with almost all forms of modern sound processing. Dolby Atmos, including True HD Atmos, the real one that's uncompressed, full fat sound. Same for DTSX and DTS Pro. It also has support for all the latest video signal formats, such as Dolby Vision, which is arguably the best kind of HDR, as every frame of a movie is professionally color mapped. And this can pass that, so your movies are going to look incredible. It also does the other standards of HDR just as well. And as far as the streaming side of thing goes, with the Hios built in, you can access virtually any streaming service natively running through the receiver while conveniently controlling it on your smartphone, as really in this day and age, smartphones are almost the best remotes there are for music. It even features AirPlay 2, so you can stream audio directly to it off your iOS device. It is a certified Rune endpoint as of this year. All Sound United, so Denon and Marantz products, are going to support Rune. So really nice inclusion for you audiophiles out there that will have a really nice library of stored music. And lastly, this also has built-in wired wireless internet. So you can run Ethernet or Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. It's got everything, man. You know, getting back to what I mentioned earlier about the value of this thing, all for $800, Marantz is bringing so much to the table here. So much, in fact, that as of right now, and in this weight class, you might say, of receiver, it may be the most standout product, giving you all the best in video handling and processing, from 8K pass-through, 4K 120, all those gaming features like VRR and auto low latency, and then HDR features like Dolby Vision and HDR10, and then on the audio side, things like True HD Atmos and DTS Pro, Talk about a package, man. Denon and Marantz, you guys may have just saved 2020. 
with your 8K offerings. Head on over to skybygramophone.com where you can get one of these wonderful Slimline receivers for yourself. You can check out securely and receive your product shipped fast and free straight to your door. Also be sure to drop by and check it out at one of our showroom locations. You can come visit us in Timonium, Columbia, or Gaithersburg, Maryland, and you should definitely go check out the beautiful Kitchen Design Center in Hunt Valley, Maryland. Whether you're looking for project ideas, need to schedule a service request, or want to speak to one of our home theater, hi-fi, or interior design experts, get inspired at gramophone.com. Also, if you have any questions for me, ask at gramophone.com. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and drop a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to the Gramophone channel for all of your audio and home theater needs. But don't you forget guys, I want to hear from you. What do you think of the new Marantz products and what do you want to see from me in the future? As always, thank you for watching. I'll be seeing you.